Scorpio, what's going on? Happy birthday to you. It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy. I'm here to bring you your November 2021 Silent Enemies reading. I hope all is well in the Scorpio community. For those of you who are part of the 8th House community, happy birthday, happy birthday. For those who are new, happy birthday to you. Welcome. Make sure you subscribe, become part of the 8th House family. You always have uh, new weekly content, so you know you won't get bored. Uh, but you'll always have something that you can refer to if you're going through some things and you just want to get maybe a different perspective or clarity. So uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell after you subscribe. This is a general reading. You want to take what resonates, leave the rest. It's not going to resonate with every person in every part of their life. But because this is a reading that's based on you, you paying attention to your intuition, you will resonate with something that has, you know, you're meant to resonate with, okay? So uh, if you need a personal reading, my information is in the box below. And I got promos going on for people who have Scorpio and North Node, their sun sign, their ascending sign, their Venus, and their uh, moon. If you got that in Scorpio, you get 50% off of certain readings. Look at the community tab to check that out. Uh, or look in the description box below for all the types of readings I offer. For, for promotions, look in the community tab, all right? This channel is uh, astrology-based, okay? So um, check the community tab for any types of posts related to the planetary alignments because I'll put that there for you guys. But the Silent Enemies reading is a reading that helps you to pay attention to your intuitive nudges, uh, especially when it comes to the people closest to you uh, because they're the ones who are sent to you on a spiritual level. They're the ones who are sent to you to help you to learn lessons in life. Sometimes those lessons can be in a form of adversarial uh, experiences with these people closest to you. Uh, it can be, um, you know, a bit of a shocker. Um, it could catch you off guard. Uh, but if it catches you off guard as in, oh God, you know, that's terrible that my family member deceived me or they backstabbed me and opposed to you not finding out and it's too late. This is what this reading is about. It's trying to get you to find out what's going on before it's too late. All right. So, again, as a spiritual person, you know that the people who are, are closest to you are usually um, people that you may have dealt with in a past life. Some of them are, and some of them are karmic, meaning you're supposed to learn a lesson from them and move away from them, regardless to if you decide to marry them or not, regardless to if in the 3D realm they're called your mother. It doesn't matter. A silent enemy could be a family member. It could be a lover. It could be a best friend. It could be a co-worker. It could be your landlord. Whoever the universe sends to you... Uh, and they're in your energy and you get a funny vibe about them, pay attention to the intuitive nudge. If you find out that it's a false alarm, then great. But if it doesn't strike you as a false alarm and you can't figure it out, then you may need to keep your eyes on this individual just to just for precaution, okay? A false alarm could be somebody's acting weird all of a sudden and you don't know why. So you may say, hey, I notice you're not yourself. You know, you, you okay? Of course, this is if this is somebody you care about. Um, and they may say, yeah, I'm just going through some things with my mom or, you know, my aunt or what have you. So that's a false alarm, meaning that their their energy switched up and it had nothing to do with them trying to be of uh, adversarial to you in any way. Right. Because sometimes you can feel people's intention before they even open their mouth. So let's see what we got. I'm going to get a couple more cards and we're going to see what energies may come up intuitively for you this month that you need to be aware of concerning the people that you deal with on a regular basis for Scorpio, November 2021. Hope you guys are enjoying your birthday. Let me know when your birthday is in the comments. Let me know what you did for your birthday if you did anything cool. All right, so let's see. Scorpio, we got the Page of Cups energy, which is uh, Cancerian energy. We have the Emperor energy in reverse, which is Aries. And that's a major arcana, so we do need to be concerned about that. We got the King of Cup energy in reverse. So Scorpio, this is you. So you could be your own worst enemy when you show up in your own reading. All right. But we'll talk about that. I'm going to do one card at a time. So this Page of Cup energy, this is a Cancerian energy for you. So the pages represent, to me, it's like either a child. So some of you, you know, if, if you have a child, you may need to uh, just be, you know, concern yourself with their friends. Especially if they're, um, they just went back to school. Some of the kids just, they've been in school for a little while. Um, you may want to just check with them to see who their friends are, who they're connecting with. Um, I don't have kids, but I always said if I did, if whoever my kids' friends were, I need to know who they are. So, you know, I know with COVID, it's difficult to have people come over and things like that. But 
you know, <laughs> we'd have to figure something out because I need to know who my kid's hanging around and I need to know of their parents. You know what I'm saying? At least I've spoken to one or two of them to get some type of general, you know, sense of these people's energy. So I feel like that might be the case. Some of you, um, you know, your kids could be dating. They could be at the age now where they're entertaining other suitors. So it may be time for that birds and the bees talk, you know. Um, I know some people, are, you know, it's awkward for them. They don't know how they're going to do it, especially if you're a man raising daughters, you know, or vice versa. You know, you're a woman raising sons and it's like, oh, God, you know, I got to have this talk. Um, but if you're having problems with it, check into some of your community resources uh, to see what would be available and see, you know, what other options you have. And then you can figure out what would best work for you or if you're going to, you know, combine and make like a hybrid type. Because, you know, you want to make sure that you give the information you need. But, you know, especially if it's uncomfortable for you, you want to make sure you check with other resources to make sure that you're given what you need to give and not too much. Because, <laughs> you know, explaining to kids the birds and the bees is kind of like, to me, it's kind of like explaining somebody their, their chart. Like there's so much information in your chart. But you don't want to overwhelm someone, so you say to them, okay, what questions do you have? You know what I'm saying? And then that way you'll know what to focus on. And you can say to your kids, okay, these are the questions you have. All right, give me a moment and let me put together some information that I can get for you. So let's sit down. Or you, or you can say it like, okay, well, let's sit down next week and talk about it. That way they don't need to know that you don't know what you're talking about or that you got to prepare. Just say, okay, look. I know you got some questions. What we're going to do is we're going to sit down. We're going to take some time. And we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about it. So tell me some of your, you know, your concerns, you know, and you can write those down, make note of it, and then you can go do your research. And then, you know, when you want to reach back out to your child, you, hey, you know, you want to sit down and have a talk and then go from there. You know, that's a suggestion. I mean, I'm just looking at it from a perspective of when I was a kid, I didn't get the talk until after, you know, problems occurred. So some of you may want to avoid that. All right. But on another level here, I feel like for some of you, um, like I said, your kids, you know, they're dating. So you've already had to talk with them and, you're, and they're dating. So you just may want to, you know, just check with them to see how they feel about someone. I feel like your, your children, um, they may have like a one, they may have this one particular person that they're interested in. So, you know, take it for what it's, what it, what it's worth. For others of you, you could... And it's coming up as a silent enemy, and it's not necessarily because it's an enemy. It just could be very well that you don't know what's going on. And without you knowing, it could potentially be something that could, uh, you know, grow more to be of something that's more negative than positive. But this, I feel like, is just a friendly reminder for you. Like, yeah, okay, you know, I know they're at that age, and I know they're, you know, socially active online and things like that, and... You know, especially if you got a 12, 13, 14 year old, 11 year old, 10 year old, you know, that age range, like it's time to just see where their head is at and see who they're talking to and who they're talking to the most. They could have a bunch of friends, but they could just be talking to if it's a guy, he could be talking to a girl more than he's talking to his male friends. That'll give you an indication. You know what I'm saying? Without you having to pry. And but yeah, just, you know, check in with them and see who they who they're communicating with for some of you. You have somebody coming towards you. I feel like this person, I feel like they just want to have fun. I don't feel like they're interested in anything serious. So if you want something serious, this could be why this is showing up as an enemy. If you don't want anything serious, you need to be careful because some of you could end up getting pregnant. Okay, you see the eggs here in the basket. So some of you need to be careful. Some of you, your children might be pregnant. You may want to check with your child and see what's going on. Or they may have gotten someone pregnant. So, you know, this is a, just another layer to what I was just talking about a minute ago. But I'm getting that for some of you as well. Um, some of you could be looking for a babysitter is what I'm feeling too. Be careful with the babysitter. You know, just be careful that the babysitter is not too busy on the phone with their boyfriend and girlfriend and they're not, you know, supervising your children. So some of you need to watch out for your babysitter. They could be a little, you know, they could be at that age where they, you know, hormones is going bonkers and... They're supposed to be watching your kids, and they are. They're over there at the house with them, <laughs> but they're busy on their phone socializing and texting and whatever and maybe, you know, being distracted from paying attention. So there's that. But um, that's what I'm getting with this Page of Cup energy here. Now, with this Emperor energy in reverse, this is a major arcana. So, you know, when you have major arcana show up in a reading, 
you know that a major arcana represents some type of change that has to take place. Uh, major change that you don't have a con really have control over. Uh, and so with this emperor energy in reverse showing up uh, here, I feel like, Scorpio, you're in a position where you're... Um, you could be exercising uh, too little control or you could be involved with someone who's trying to... Okay, I get a couple messages, so <laughs> bear with me. As soon as I finish, halfway finish a thought, another one pops in. So for some of you, you have to be careful of the people that you're dealing with. There's somebody around you who could be a bit uh, controlling. Somebody around you who could be a bit stubborn or difficult to deal with. This could be someone who's older in age, so it could be a father for some of you. I would say this individual is... I would say on average, as far as the age, it would be somebody over 40. Uh, so for some of you, this could be your father. Um, it could be a bit too controlling right now. Maybe you guys are going through it and, you know, they're trying to tell you what to do and you don't agree with it. And, you know, there's a power struggle here, you know, because we're in Scorpio season. Scorpio season's about power struggles, right? So it could be with your father. For others of you, you may want to be careful with the job situation that you're in, um, they could be unorganized. They could be unstructured. You could have a boss who um, is just very short-tempered or is not uh, fit to be a leader. You know, uh, depending on the uh, environment or the industry that you work in, you know, there's some people who are good in management, but then there's some people like management can involve two two levels. It's like you you take care of your managerial and your paperwork stuff and whatever you're supposed to do, but then on the flip side, some of you are managing people as well. Right. Or some managers manage people as well as whatever daily routines they have. You have some people who are good at the managerial part. They can get their paperwork in. They can get their stats done. They can get and do all of that. But when it comes to managing people, they suck. And so I feel like to some of you, you have a you either have a, a boss that is this way or you, you're looked at this way. OK, you could have some power struggles with uh, your upper level management. So you may have you may be in, in the middle like that. That to me is a not a good place to be but that's just my opinion it just sounds like a lot of stress especially if you got people and you got to an answer to and then you got people who have to answer to you Shh, that that requires some money for me to be able to do this job so maybe that could be the case for some of you maybe that's what your situation is and you're not being paid based on the amount of responsibilities that you're taking in so some of you need to be concerned about that um let's see Yeah, as far as your um, partnerships, because your seventh house, um, actually, your, it's your sixth house for Aries. So this could have to do with work, okay? So for some of you, you could be in a job where you're, you're, you're overqualified, too, is what I'm getting here. Some of you could be applying for positions, and a lot of the positions that you're getting are positions that you're overqualified for. That's the emperor energy in reverse, right? Um, but you, what I'm feeling is, is don't deny those positions. Don't, don't. Don't ignore them because one could lead to something else or you could have it for about two weeks to a month and then something else will come through. But at least you have income coming in, you know, until that big gig, the one that's worthy of your, you know, your investment, your time and energy comes in. So keep that in mind. I feel like that's a main concern here, too. Some of you may blow off um, a job because maybe you want management position, but everything that's coming through is emperor energy in reverse. It's non-management. You may have the qualifications and the skills, and you may have served in that type of position in the past, but um, right now those positions are not coming through, so you may have to settle temporarily. Look at it as a lateral move, not as a, a step backwards, okay? Because I feel like that's all about your mentality and how you look at that. So that could be going on for you. Some of you need to be careful. You could possibly lose your job, okay? Some of you, um, this may have already occurred, and... Uh, you not looking for work could be a problem for you because that could set you up to have, you know, a financial crumble in the near future. So uh, be careful with not looking for any work, even though you may want to do your own thing. You got to have a steady um, form of income coming in and then, you know, on your downtime, work on your entrepreneurial goals. Some of you may have had your own business and you may have to go back into the workforce, too, is what I'm getting. So I feel like for some of you, um, you're going to have to be careful because you may be qualified for certain positions, but maybe you don't want to take them because you don't want to stress yourself. You want to have the energy you need for whatever your projects are. So some of you may take positions that are, you know, that you're overqualified for, so to speak. Um, 
I feel like you shouldn't do that unless that's all that's available to you right now. And if it is, I'm getting an energy of you should um, consider taking that, that position until and keep applying for the one that you want. Now, with this King of Cup energy in reverse, this is your energy, Scorpio. And whenever your own energy shows up in a silent enemy's reading, you could be your own worst enemy. So with the King of Cup energy in reverse here, um, to me, the kings represent your yang energy, you taking action uh, for something. And for I feel like for some of you, this is showing up as a silent enemy because there could be somebody coming towards you. They could be coming towards you to manipulate you in some way, shape, or form, to play with your emotions. There could be somebody coming towards you whose intentions are one thing, but it could be something else, okay? So with that King of Cup energy in reverse, this person, if it's a romantic energy, this person is does not love you. They don't love you either because they have emotional issues, they're trying to manipulate you, or they're in love with somebody else, so they may just want to hang out. These two could be related with this Page of Cup and this King of Cup in reverse energy. All right. These two could very well be related. All right. Could be the same person. It's like they're coming to you saying, hey, what's going on? You know, but the reality is, is they have something up their sleeve with the King of Cup energy in reverse. I feel like what it is, is all you're going to get from them is just sex. You're not going to get any type of relationship. A serious connection or anything like that and again if you want to know why it's either because this person they come in intentionally to mo uh, motive to uh, maliciously take advantage of you to play on your emotions or um this person is emotionally unstable and they don't they're needy sexually is what it is they just need sex they don't want the emotional attachment or this person is emotionally connected to someone else so that's what I've got for you, Scorpio, with that. Now, also, you have to be careful to not pay attention. Pay attention to your surroundings, Scorpio. Um, usually, like, you're the human, uh, what do they call it, the human detective. Like, you can sense certain things about people. But this person here is going to, they may throw you off at first. But pay attention to your intuition about them. They may say things and it's like something, but something in you is going to be like, I don't know, I don't know, something about that. Something about what this person said or their approach. Trust that, okay? And especially if it comes to your boss too. If you're feeling weird about your boss or a, a weird vibe, trust that as well. So that's what I got for you. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the extended. And I'm going to pull like four cards for each of these to get additional messages in reference to... Um, the intuitive messages uh, that I got to see if there's anything else you're going to need to look out for or to give you a little bit more of a perspective or clarity on what could be going on with these energies. All right. So if you resonated with that, please let me know by clicking the like button. You can leave a comment if you would like. Um, if it didn't resonate, don't worry about it. Check your other placements um, and check some of the other readings on the channel if you don't like this reading or that if it just didn't resonate with you. You'll see the other types of readings for uh, November show up on the screen here so you can choose whatever one you want. But in the meantime, the link to the extended is in the box below. Scorpio, don't forget about the promotions I got for Scorpio season just for you in the comment section. For those of you who want to know the type of readings I do, the link or the box in the dis well, description box below this video will have all of that there as well as the link to the extended so we'll head to the extended hopefully i'll see you there if not i'll see you in the next reading happy birthday scorpio